Let's take a look at absolute value and opposite integers. What is the absolute value of negative 43? Now notice how I read that. These bars are absolute value bars. So we would read that as the absolute value of whatever is inside, the absolute value of negative 43. Now keep in mind that absolute value is a distance, meaning it is always going to be positive. So negative 43 is 43 units to the left of zero on a number line. So the absolute value of, 40, of negative 43 is positive 43. What is the absolute value of 38? Well, 38 is 38 units to the right of zero, so it has an absolute value of 38. So notice when we take the absolute value, we get the positive version of that number. So the absolute value of negative 16 is 16, since distance has to be positive. What is the absolute value of 49? Well, the absolute value of 49 is 49, right? It's, a, it's already a positive. What is the opposite of 40? Well, the opposite of a positive is a negative. So since we have positive 40, the opposite would be negative 40. What is the opposite of negative 40? Well, the opposite of a negative is a positive. So the, our opposite would be positive 40. What is the absolute value of negative 19? Well, again, absolute value is distance, meaning we're going to take the positive version. So the absolute value of negative 19, positive 19. What is the absolute value of negative 38? Well, the absolute value of negative 38 is positive 38. What is the absolute value of negative 23? Well, absolute value is always positive, so the absolute value of negative 23, positive 23. What is the absolute value of negative 41? Positive 41. Now notice absolute value and opposites are different because if we take the absolute value of a positive number, it stays a positive. And if we take the absolute value of a negative, it becomes a positive. But here they're just saying, what is the opposite of 49? Well, the opposite of a positive is a negative, so that's negative 49. What is the opposite of negative 23? Well, the opposite of a negative is a positive, so the opposite is positive 23. What is the absolute value of negative 1? Absolute value is always positive since it's a distance, so it's a distance of 1. What is the opposite of 22? Negative 22. What is the opposite of negative 7? Positive 7. What is the opposite of positive 29? Negative 29. And what is the absolute value of 40? Now notice they didn't say opposite. Absolute value is always positive. So the absolute value of 40 is 40. What is the absolute value of 7? 7. And what is the absolute value of negative 33? Well, absolute value is always positive, so that would be positive 33. What is the absolute value of 42? Well, it's always positive, so it stays 42.